Oh, Pebble, what? Well, look, we're up here at Byron Bay still. Byron Bay Lighthouse, that's right up there. That's a white dot you can see. Now, the pre previous mayor, Byron Bay, who got the sack and lost the right to hold Australian Day citizenship, he decided he was going to close down the Byron Bay Compulsory National Parks and Wildlife New Beach from way down there with the Byron Bay train, not nothing to do with the train, but where the Byron Bay train goes across the bridge, there's water in there to the ocean from the uh, Byron Bay Lagoon or whatever you want to call it. And he's cramped all the nudists there now into an 800 metre area instead of having a whole seven kilometres. Now they never used to use the seven kilometres, but what he done, he put it way up there and they have to walk from way over there and look, there's one person on the beach. That is where I broke down 20 years ago and the Free Queensland Beach Society come here with thousands of people and they all had a good time. Now this mayor is gone. They changed it. They used to walk down just so you can see the tracks in the sand and they go up there about past where that person is there now right right up there towards a place called Brunswick Heads which is up there in the distance and people had a good time but now they're penalized because the previous mayor in Byron Bay they had to walk from there all the way down here all the way down there and a lot of them are old people and look at it they're all crammed in one little spot not even near where the cars are parked and there's no clothing people here nobody wearing any clothes at all are here so this is clearly discrimination because over there i mean that's where all the people are over there swimming wearing shorts and bikinis and christ knows what so why should these nudists be harassed or victimized and look They've even, the previous mayor has even put up a camera. Look at that. It looks like a camera to me. Can you see it, the big blue thing? He's spying on them. It looks like a camera. It could be a sign. But he makes them stay all the way down there. Then when they walk up, they're going to walk down through here. Or walk... I'll come back around where they are down there walk all the way up here through the soft sand just because one guy is wearing a pair of shorts how stupid Byron Bay City Council pull your finger out and bring to back what it was for the last hundred years when it was officially an unofficial new beach, then they made it official because everybody uses it. Now, I'm not going down there. Look, look I'm dressed. Don't worry about that. Look, I've, I've got my shoes and socks on and don't get all excited. Hominoids, not naked. Maybe Seattle or Jack or Howard or Cosmic, uh, Cosmic or Mugs Jugs over there in Canada or maybe uh, Ashley. She might get all excited, but not me. I'm too old and I'm too fat. No, you don't want to see a fat hominoid walking on a new beach. Anyway, somebody's coming. I'm going to pause it. Now, this is the ridiculous thing they brought here. Now, let's have a look. Grays Lane Car Park is up there. 200 metres to the right. And then they've got all the way down to there. And then, here's the elements of Byron. So I said, here's the creek from the Byron Bay solar power train. So that's 1500. 
What what a ridiculous idea. People have to walk all the way down there and he's got security cameras down there. I'm going to short. That's about it. That's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Hi guys. Let's have a look over here. Same sign. How bloody ridiculous. No bathing outside the declared area is an offence. Penalty not less than 110. Not less than 110. And you're down here. Look at the soil erosion it caused. Nobody went everywhere. And now they're making everybody go down the other end that way. And now they're cutting tracks down through the uh, untampered with forestry area down there. It's stupid. See you later. Now let's see is it we've got Queensland, Queensland, New South Wales, Queensland, 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 New South Wales, Queensland, New South Wales, Queensland, New South Wales, Queensland, 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 New South Wales, Queensland, New South Wales, like I said, Queensland. All these cars are coming down here from Queensland. Because they've got no new beaches in Queensland. Look, New South Wales, New South Wales, Queensland, New South Wales, Victorian, Queensland, 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 New South Wales, New South Wales, Queensland, Queensland, and there's the other Queensland. Oh, that's me, I don't count. And look, down there. Now, when I break down here in my bus, I come in here at midnight. I went up there, chucked around, packed my ass up there, right up there against that big yellow sign. And I woke up in the morning. This car park was full of anything, and cars were parked down the centre road down here. And then down here, except where these little roads go off to the right, where the ranger gets access, it was cars either side of the poles. Now, how it used to work up there where that sign was, rewind the video, you see a couple of poles. Right, when you saw this side on the tar, you're on Byron Bay City Council. When you're on this side of the pole, you're on the new beach. Right, and then here, you're back on the council. Very simply, where there's tar, it's council. Right, now I'll show you how far, how many cars were here 20 years ago on the free Queensland Beach annual meeting. It's going to blow your mind. Right, now I'm in the car. Now, when I woke up in the morning, all stressed out, 163 kilos, had no idea it was a new beach. No idea whatsoever. A guy sent me down here who was hitchhiking. See the cars are parked along the side of the road? Well, they're parked on this side of the road too. And this is how far, and I'm going to stop this video because when the cars stop being parked. Now you can imagine all the cars are parked in there. So that's sort of got a poles around it. But over here, there's a gate for the ranger. So they didn't dare block that. So now it says no stopping. So they're all in there. And all the way down here, See, they changed it. Now look, no stopping. See what they try to do? They try to get rid of everybody by putting up no stopping signs. And that's a $500 fine. See what the previous, I'll say previous mayor did? Look, another no stopping. No stopping again. And down here, 20 odd years ago, it was car after car after car on either side of the road. Even, see, they, the people are good enough, they leave the ranger trail open. Now this road is full of potholes because now nobody's coming out here paying the fee. There's no money to pay for the potholes to get fixed. Right? 
But when everybody come out here as a new beach, they all paid their six dollars. Which means then the national parks had the money to pay for a grader and they might come out here and tar it. But the Lord Mayor, the previous Lord Mayor of Byron Bay, he stuffed it all up. And then we got the guy who owns a big music centre. Yes, there was cars here. On this side of the road, that side of the road. And how do I know? Because I had to leave me bus and a guy gave me a lift out who said, I can't get a parking spot. I'm going back into Byron Bay. And I said, well, I've broken down here in the bus. So I need to go into Byron Bay, get some groceries and come back. And he said, well, I'll give you a lift into Byron Bay. And he took me into the Coles at the time that was in Byron Bay, which is now closed down, which is next door to the brand new uh, Woolworths, sorry. Um, Woolworths, the old Woolworths. So you can see it on Google Earth, it's all boarded up. And it a good road, isn't it? Oh, look at it. I mean, this is, a, look, it's a fantastic road. I mean, check this out. Look at that. I mean, really. See, do-gooders, like the previous mayor, stuff up everything for everybody. And the local guy in the local service station up here, uh, where you cannot get out onto the main road anymore, they, he put up a gate, and you can't get out on this road, but he did tar it. So what you can do, you go drive up the end of this dirt road, which is National Park, Come out onto the local car road. Come out to the end of Gray's Lane. G R A G R A Y S. Oh, see, Tiagra Reserve. You know, the biggest a nudie. Look, he just locked up his car. Now, what he's going to do instead of putting up all the bullshit down the beach, he goes into here. No, I'm not going to talk to his number plate. See. Right, so you can go in there, in this tea trees, all these tea trees here, put off an oil in the water. Now there's big lakes in there. Now this guy on this side, he owns the, God look at that, look at old Queensland Queen. She's flying up the road like a bat out of yeah, it was a guy, it's obviously an old gay queen. He's got the big sunglasses on and the hat and, you know, tries to make himself look straight. But, I mean, you can all pick out they're an old queen. Anyway, um, yeah, have a crack up and laugh. Yeah, mate, I drove a cab for 17 years. You can't put nothing over me. You know, I mean, God, just so bloody gullible. See? And these cars were double parked all the way, like parked either side of the road, all the way down to here. And then over in there... That was a former parking bay. Over in there was a former parking lot with the money box. And then now this is the private public road. Now this guy here is paranoid. Have a look at this. Because he owns the other lake and look, he's even got railway tracks for the cattle. I wonder where he. I wonder if he bought them or stole them off the Byron Bay off the Byron Bay railway line. I mean, you don't know. But you know who this guy is? He's the guy that owns the big music systems all around the. world.